Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 27th of September to the 3rd of October 2021. I hope you're well. Let's get straight into your reading. Okay, message for Libra please. Message for Libra for the week. Remember this is for seven days only. And it won't resonate with everybody. We have choose a new direction. That is the advice from Spirit here for the week. Message for Libra. What do we have for Libra? What is the message for Libra? King of Coins. You might be dealing with a King of Coins. Let's get one more card. Eight of Coins. Okay. Three cards, please, for Libra for the week. Three cards for Libra for the week. Thank you. Flew out. We have the Ten of Wands in your challenge. Knight of Wands. Five of Swords. Okay, let's clarify. Let's clarify the cards on the table, please. Clarify the cards on the table. Thank you. The Emperor. Card of Aries. Knight of Wands. Six of Swords. Five of Swords. Knight of Swords. The Devil. Card of Capricorn. I feel that there is a source of conflict here, Libra. And an energy of removing yourself from a situation that doesn't serve your highest good. That's why the universe is saying choose a new direction. Clarify, <laughs> it's interesting, I've got the Ace of Pentacles bottom of the deck. I'm going to put that down because I looked. Clarify the devil, clarify the devil. I mean, you could argue this in terms of relationships. I also feel in this situation, it could be a work situation too. Clarify the devil, clarify the devil for Libra. Three of Swords. We have choose a new direction, Libra, and we have pentacles energy. So with a kind of dominating energy of pentacles, somebody is wanting stability, security, solid ground, abundant energy, not feeling lack in any way, shape or form, but just feeling secure in an area of their life. Now. You might be dealing with a king of coins because I certainly am seeing this new coin available to you. He's holding a coin. A king of coins may be offering you something here. We have the eight of coins, which is very good in terms of being recognized for what you do. Money, career, finances. Maybe you're getting some recognition or opportunity for the effort, for your work, for your skill set for what you can bring to a company, someone seeing your talent this week and offering you an opportunity accordingly. 
I feel this is because, and this is a new level of stability and security, this is the new direction for you, because where you are, you're not happy, and you want change. Now, in any other area, this can be an energy of putting your heart and soul into what is going to bring you stability and security. Yeah. And recovery, you know, recovery. There's a feeling certainly in terms of money, career, Libra, in terms of being where you can shine. We have the Emperor and we have the Ten of Wands here. This is the challenge in taking control of something that has built up over a period of time. I mean, in a work situation, this can be an energy of over-delegation, someone taking advantage, putting on you a lot, long working hours, all of this kind of energy and someone just wants to be dealt with it now. It could be an environment as well. This could be a work environment or establishment that you're in. And there's an energy of you just want to you just want to lift the burden now. You just want to release from this energy of not of, of feeling tired, feeling pressure, feeling the responsibility maybe feeling taken advantage of in some way. There's also an energy here of hitting some class ceiling where you're doing all the work, but you're not getting the recognition for it. The Knight of Wands can be an energy of doing something about it. it, can manifest in terms of some kind of opportunity coming in that's bringing change, that's enabling you to put choppy waters behind you and move towards better times. This is a card of travel, transition, moving from one place to another for some of you, can be in terms of money, career, finances, could be in other areas as well, Libra, that you're in that process of detaching from something that has caused you that you know is not good for you that you know has burdened you for a period of time and putting your heart and soul into something that is going to bring you value and stability and security. So this can be a card of taking action to bring change for that reason. But for some of you, there could be some significant, exciting opportunity coming your way. Uh, and it's coming in fast. You know, this is a fast moving energy. I feel as soon as you've made your mind up, as soon as you've made your mind up, that's it. I'm not going back. I'm dealing with this. You know, this is what I'm doing. I need to bring positive change to my situation because I'm not dealing with this situation or this person any longer. The devil is representing a difficult, unhealthy, repeating cycle. With the Three of Swords, somebody has been hurt maybe over and over again or disappointed or let down. I mean, there's levels to these cards, uh, but this can be an energy of some level of pain or disappointment or hurt being caused you. And it's by this devil over and over and over again. It keeps on happening. Someone's not going to change. Could be a boss could be the way an organization operates. It can also be in terms of relationships. Someone's not going to change, so I'm going to do something about it. I'm taking action. I'm detaching myself from the source of conflict now. I'm putting it behind me because it's not serving my highest good any longer. And I am moving towards something that is bringing me greater stability and security. There could be somebody who is helping you as well helping, giving you some sound advice, helping you get back on track in some way. Like I said, in business, it, this would be somebody who is very capable in business, a great, um, somebody who gets their sleeves rolled up, gets stuck in as part of their team, even though the head 
you know so it's that it's a very good leader um who's not afraid to put in the work who wouldn't expect the other people to do the work and 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 him not he in him or her it is an energy of they do the work as well but in other areas this is somebody who is around you that is helping you rebuild helping you put your heart and soul into bringing a new level of stability and security into your life we have the five of swords and the knight of swords with the three of swords and the devil so removing yourself from the source of conflict some communication you might be having a conversation because you might be getting some kind of opportunity here the ace of coins can be an energy of manifesting a new path it is an energy of moving or relocating for some of you i see that in the cards here moving from one place to another that could be moving home you might be traveling there's also an energy here of um job offers business opportunities coming your way and it's gifted to you by god the divine the universe it's a really magical energy libra um and you're telling somebody there may well be some conflict here they may not take it well i don't feel that you are caring about this in the situation because you're just interested in putting the whole thing behind you and moving on you know there is a lot to do with self-worth here I want recognition for what I'm worth and what I deserve and if I'm not getting it from this source this person or this situation or this environment then I'm going to go somewhere else and that's what I feel you're doing the message is choosing a new direction and the six of swords is showing something is coming in change is happening either by your hands or by some opportunity coming your way and it's for the better it's a change for the better and it's resulting in a beautiful new beginning a solid and stable opportunity and you can see the tree in the background that can really grow into something beautiful where I can put down roots here and feel yeah this is going to be somewhere where I can grow and thrive very nice energy indeed so I'm going to pull a final card final message for Libra please final message for Libra thank you yeah you see oh lovely shine from within Look Saroni skin deep, true beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. There is acceptance that something or someone is either hurting you, has hurt you more than once, a cycle that's never ending, they're not going to change or the situation or the organisation is not going to change and I want to be done with it now. I'm removing myself from this situation, from something that has been causing me a great deal of anxiety and conflict and disruption in my life and I'm moving towards calmer waters and it's a huge sigh of relief it really is spirit is agreeing with you on this I think for your highest good so I hope you enjoyed the reading Libra if you did please do like share and subscribe and I will see you next time thank you